Welcome to HTTV. I'm Austin Stahl. I'm Clay Martin. I'm Eli Holfer. So Clay, what do we have for birthdays? Let's see, here we have Yesina Spinsby, Michael Nelson, Alexander Scott, Kyle Conan, Kobe Stoner, and Rachel Heising. Happy, Happy birthday. birthday. Happy birthday. So guys, did you guys make it to that Highmore game? I did. The girls played a heck of a game. Fortunately, they lost. First, first round of districts. Was probably one of the better games they played all year, though. They played really good. We do have an interview with some of the senior girls, and they'll share some of their thoughts. So, do that. Hi, this is Caitlin Boone from HTV here with the senior basketball girls. What's your favorite memory? My favorite memory was sophomore year when I got to play with my sister and some of the older girls, and we were just working hard. Good season? Um, mine would be when I'd get the jump, because I'm usually shorter than everybody. <laughs> um, what are you girls going to miss the most? Well, I'm probably going to miss the most uh, being with all those other basketball girls that were younger than us. It was a lot of fun working with them and playing games with them. Uh, just a sport in general, being able to be active during the winter. <laughs> <laughs> What advice can you give to the younger girls? Uh, I would say just to keep working hard, you know, get in the gym as much as you can, go to team camps and individual camps, because when you're a senior, it will be worth it. Um, I would say our class, and this year kind of speaks for itself, I think we got a lot more done when we worked together as a team and kept drama off the court. All right, thank you, and back to you. Thanks, Kevin, for that interview. Well, now we're going to talk about boys basketball, and they play SBA on Friday, which is tomorrow. Yeah. And what are your thoughts on this? Should be a tough game. S SBA is tough. It'll be a good matchup for the last game of the season. Well, well, we're going to try to make that a support, you guys. Good. Good deal. And now we have a little more on it from Coach Heater and Kaylee Cole, so we'll send it to them. Hi, I'm Kelly Cole from HTTV. I'm here with Coach Heater. How do you guys think, or how do you think you played against Northwestern? I thought we played really well, shot the ball very well. Um, season high in points scored, all five starters in double figures. Um, even though they're not a very good team, I thought it was one of our uh, best shooting performances and one of our better played games of the year. How do you think you're going to do against uh, Sunshine Bible? It's going to be tough out there. Um, they're very good at home. They we played them the first round of the 281 tournament, got them by 13, and a uh, pretty low scoring game. At their place, they played a lot of good teams real close. Um, I, I see it being a tight game uh, and a, an ideal game leading into postseason. What are you going to have to do to shut down them? Uh, it all comes down to taking care of the ball. You don't want to turn it over too much. Um, they've got a lot of kids that can shoot, so we're going to have to play good man to man defense and switch. They. They like to set a lot of ball screens, and we got to switch on that and get a hand in the face and um, just play play well defensively. Uh, what do you th or who do you think you're going to match up to the first round of districts? Looks like it's going to be Lower Brule. Um, uh, they are going to be the three seed. It's, it's almost a lock. They'll come to us here, and uh, it'll be exciting to be able to host a semifinal game in the district. All right, thank you. Back to you, Austin, Clay, and Eli. Thank you, Kaylee, for that interview. Well, in other sports news, we'd like to congratulate Riley to make it in regions for wrestling. And, yeah, he did pretty good out there. He did lose, but he's... Tried his best. He's small, but he... I heard, he, I heard he's actually really good. I've never gotten to see him actually wrestle. That's tough. But also, it is the... Like we said, it is the last regular season game for the boys, and we'd like to wish Trent Hope for the best of luck. Yep. Being his, he's Why? the only senior out for basketball. That's a regular season game. So good luck. Yeah. In other senior news, we're doing our special senior spotlight again, and that is with Lamore this weekend, so we'll send it to Sage. Hi, this is Sage Peterson with HGTV here with Lamore Binger, a senior. Where are you attending next year? Presentation College in Aberdeen. What are you going for? Pre-veterinary medicine. And you're playing volleyball, right? Yes. What is your favorite memory of high school? Uh, definitely winning 281 conference tournament in volleyball. 
it was very exciting and I got to share it with my favorite people in high school. Thank you. Back to you. Thank you, Sage. So, what did you guys put that on? Well, I don't even remember. But I guess it's because it's Dr. Seuss's birthday on Monday. Did you know that? Oh, I, I did know that. But that cat in the hat is playing tricks on us again. Uh, yes, he is. Ah, he's, he's just a troublemaker. Why, why didn't you make you wear this stuff? Well, that looks like me. <laughs> oh, jeez. Well, like, like Monday is, a, like I said, Dr. Seuss's birthday, so... In the elementary, I believe they are having a, like a Dr. Dr. Seuss day. So I'm assuming they're going to be reading like their favorite Dr. Seuss books. And what are you doing? <laughs> Keegan will tell us more in an interview with him. Hi, I'm Keegan Mallon with HTTV. I'm here today with Wyatt Brooker. Uh, do you read a lot of books, Wyatt? My parents say I read a lot. Your parents say you read a lot. What's your favorite book? You like Cat in the Hat or Dr. Seuss to me? Yeah, they're pretty funny. Pretty funny. What's your favorite Dr. Seuss book? Probably Green Hands and Ham. That's my favorite Green Hands and Ham. my favorite Dr. Seuss book, too. Uh, did you guys do anything special for your number of day of school at last week, Thursday? Yeah, our principal brought us popcorn and our teacher gave us pop, so it was pretty fun. Wow, you guys have an amazing principal and teachers. Thank you, Wyatt. I'm here with Briar today. Briar, do you like great books? Yeah. What books are you reading right now? Um, Diary of a Wimpy Kid. Diary of a Wimpy Kid. You like that book? Yeah. Yeah? You like Cat in the Hat? Yeah? What's your favorite Cat in the Hat book? Um, Eggs and Ham. Green Eggs and Ham. Okay, I like that book too. Uh, did you guys do get anything special for your camera today of school? Last Thursday? Popcorn. Popcorn? Thanks, Ryan. Alright, I'm here today with Jackson. Uh, Jackson, you read many books? Yeah. Yeah? Uh, what's your favorite cat in the hat book? Mm -hmm. I can't answer that. I like all the books. You like all of them? Yeah. You guys do anything special for your 100th day of school? Sounds like fun. Uh, do you have a favorite book? Mm, not really. Not really. All right. Thanks, Jackson. Back to you guys. Thank you, Keegan. Well, this has been HGTV. This is thing one. That's thing two. That's Eli I hope. And we'll see you later. I'm, I'm thing one. No, I'm thing I'm one. Thing no, one. I'm thing one. <laughs> Brought to you courtesy of the red, white, and blue.